Hello everybody and welcome back to Knaveswell Farm. This week is going to be the last week, I'm hoping, before the crops are ready. So, we need to get the new combine prepared and by that I mean we need to make some money from the silage so we can buy the Takano. Now, we're actually not doing too badly for money. I haven't even looked to see how much the new combine is. But, let's just take a quick look here. Harvesters and then it is a Takano. It is £132,000. Um, so, yeah, we do need to get some money together to be able to buy this. Obviously, we're going to buy it. We're not going to rent it because that's um, it's not cheating. But I think for this farm, that is a very good combine to have. Now, I think we will be selling the Dominator. Now, the Dominator in the first place to buy is £61,000. So to sell, it's probably going to be quite good. It's 30500 but we get a bit more if we take it back to the store. Plus the header. So, um, yeah, we don't need to get too much money. Probably um, 80000 or so. So I think the best thing to do is probably sell a bit of silage just now. Uh, not going to do it with the bucket. We'll do it with the uh, conveyor belt because we do have the conveyor belt. It's over at the sell point. So if we drop this off here, then we can go and tow it back. So that's what we'll do. And this will essentially make the job very fast, very efficient. Uh, the only downside to this is because we only have one conveyor belt, we need to keep setting it up at both yards. So it's going to be a bit slow, but I'll do most of it off screen. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to getting the new combine. Hopefully by the end of this video, we will own it. But we're just going to have to see how well it's going to go. Also, the time is now at times 30. So things are progressing very quickly. Uh, the daytime is obviously going to be quite fast. The nighttime will be even quicker because we're going to speed up even more. And eventually, all the fields will be ready. We do need to keep an eye on them though because I think some of them still need a bit of herbicide, maybe a bit of fertilizer. But on the whole, they are pretty much sorted. And now we could, if we really wanted to, tip it into the pit there and then uh, load it up again. But I don't think we'll do that because that is probably an even slower way of doing it. So we'll literally just swing this back, lower it down, put it into transport mode and take it over to the main yard. If I remember the controls. Yes, there we go. And it should fold up on its own. There we go. So, over to the yard where the silage is. Let's begin loading it up. And the trailer's capacity is actually quite good. So we just basically need to reverse it into there. We'll probably put the trailers in the pit next to it, because there's more space that way. And we should be able to get it around here. I say should. Hopefully. That was bad planning. That tractor's a bit in the way. There we go. Now this should be a very fast operation, hopefully. We do need to be facing the correct direction though. It would help. So, uh, yeah, what we basically need to do is once that is up, we will change the side and then we'll be able to switch it on. There we go. And because of the design of this pit, it's very easy to drive up. The base game ones are quite hard to drive up if they're full at the front and not quite so much at the back. So this one's been well designed. And again, we'll just swing that across, push that into the pit, does slide a bit. And yeah, then we just need a tractor and trailer. Here is the perfect candidate. So yeah, done quite a bit of silage selling recently, so we're not going to be doing this much. We're going to 
do everything today. This will be the final time we sell any signage on Knavesworth Farm. Um, and then it is going to be full on harvesting. These tractors are so mucky, they need to be cleaned. It's all those mud holes we've been going through. We'll change that over to that mode. And hopefully, that's going to be close enough. And somehow we need to get back to the other tractor. There we go. And it's filling up. You can see what a much faster way this is of doing it. Really good. I mean, it beats doing it with a bucket, that's for sure. You want the tractor with the trailer to be the one that's moving, not the conveyor belt. Okay, so that is full. I wonder if we should get another conveyor belt at the other end, because it might make it a lot easier. Otherwise we're going to be continually setting this thing up. Yeah, I think we will do. We'll get another one. Now this is what I'm really hoping. In Farming Simulator 17, because you can now do the contracting, which is a breakthrough, it's just a, such a fantastic addition. Uh, instead of having to make this money fast with silage, which can get boring over time, we'll actually be able to work for somebody else, which is what I've been really looking forward to. As you will have probably gathered by now with my videos, we always are very low on money. And the, the way I always get around this, the solution to this, is always to sell silage. And there's only so many times you can do that without it getting boring. Uh, so, yes, when FS17 comes, I'm just going to be so happy that we can do it that way instead of uh, just doing it this way every time. Right, that's going to be uh, a bit tricky. We'll put it here instead, I think, because otherwise it's going to tip. And we really don't want it to tip. Uh, so what we need to do now is just get another conveyor. And here it is. Let's get it set up. Let's do some driving first of all. Let's get in position. Doing this quite quickly. It really doesn't matter which one it goes into, just as long as it goes in. Okay, I think that is aligned. Yeah, that's good. And because the time is already speeded up, it means that it's going to very easily process. Because if you've got the time too slow, then it, it tends to just sit there, processing very, very slowly. Okay, let's get it tipped. As I said before, it looks like it's spilling it when you do this, uh, but this time I'm going to make sure that we get the money we should do. So let's just quickly look at the price, and I think it, it thank you. I don't think it does spill anything. Pretty sure it doesn't, uh, but it should be just over fifteen hundred pounds per ton. One five nine six. We have three thousand thirty-seven thousand eight hundred liters, which means I think we should get. My math is okay. About sixty thousand pounds, I think. Maybe a bit less. But that is processing, as you can see over there. Working well. If we don't get what I think it is, then either my math is just terrible, or it's spilling it. I, I really don't know. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. There we go. Processing it a lot faster now. Tip the rest in. Yeah, pretty sure that was 60,000. It did stop halfway, so it makes it harder. But yeah, that's good enough. I'm pretty sure it didn't spill anything. Uh, but please do uh, let me know if you think it did do. It looks like it does, but pretty sure it doesn't. Okay, load number two. 
And this actually might be the final load we need. Obviously, we don't want to be totally in debt again. Uh, but, you know, we don't want to be using the whole heap because we need it for the animals. And we're most likely going to transfer this over to Navesville Extended, um, which is apparently finished. So it's fantastic news. Can't wait for it. I don't know when it's going to be released. But it's going to be amazing either way. Yeah, that is such an easy process when you're doing it this way. So let's just head back once again. And yeah, I think this will be the final load. Now the price may well have changed as the speed is the time of speed is quite fast. It's actually gone up. So that's good. We make some more money from this. No great demand or anything, but I don't think we really need it. I was reading through the comments, as I always do with every video, and so many positive comments, really love them, um, always good to see, but as always with any YouTuber I think, I don't think it's just me, um, you always get a few negative comments, and fair enough, because everyone is allowed their opinion. If you hate my videos, then fine, I really don't care, um, but I do like to improve on why you hate them, so if you do hate them, just let me know why you hate them. And then I can either stop doing that in the future, or do that in the future, to improve them. Uh, so yeah, that's, that is pretty much all I wanted to say there. Just, um, feedback is always good. But just saying I hate the video is kind of pointless, because it doesn't really let me know anything. Okay, here we go. Next load. And, oh, we need to speed up time, otherwise it's going to stop. Needs to process it fast enough. This time it should tell us the total amount which we've sold from this trailer load because it only messes it up if it stops halfway. Otherwise, it tells you a lump sum. So when it's finished, it should tell us. Over 60,000? Yes, well, just about. 60,782. I think that is enough for today. That is enough money for our combine harvester. Should we sell the Dominator? I do like the Dominator a lot. Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> I, I, I'm always like this. Say, oh, yeah, we're going to sell this, and then when I when I get to near the time of selling it, I'm like, oh no, I'm too attached to it now. I, ca I can't get rid of that machine. So <laughs> we're not going to get rid of it. Uh, I've made my mind up. Seriously, seriously, great demand at the BGA for silage. That's crazy. My timing couldn't have been worse. Okay, one more load. And I mean it. One more load. We can't miss out on this offer. It's starting to go dark. So we've got to get this done quite quickly. I can't believe that. We just sold two loads and then it goes to great demand. If only you could predict when it's going to do it. Actually, you can do. If you go into the XML file, it does actually tell you when it's going to happen and what crop it is. But you don't always want to do that. Like, you're in-game. You don't want to come out and go into all the files. Yeah, so this should be really good. What bonus does it give us? Wow. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Right, the trailer... The trailer isn't full. We better fill it up, though. Trust me, this is the last load. We do need to keep some. I wouldn't be selling this load at all if the price hadn't gone up. Okay, right, let's just push it around there, spin the conveyor around a bit, and then uh, we'll have to get back into the other John Deere. It's a very John Deere map, actually, this. I've got everything John Deere and Fent. But I think that's not a bad idea, because as far as I'm aware, John Deere isn't even in FS17, so the more we use now, the better. There we go, that was almost worth it. Over to the sell point to get what money we can for this. This is just going to be fantastic. I don't know how much we're going to get, but it should be so good. So 
the trick from before, if you overshoot and then reverse around the corner. It can be quite hard to do this, but if you get it right, then it does work very well. Just sort of guessing where the hopper is on the front. We might have hit it. Ah, oh, not quite. But we didn't get it perfectly, not quite. Let's just reposition. And here we go. This is going to be good. It's that amazing sunset. Yeah, this map has got some of the best sunsets, I think. Working well. Money is rocketing. Almost there. And we get from this load... £109,000. That is just crazy. We almost had enough silage when converted into money to buy the combine just in this trailer load. That is just crazy. Anyway, we're going to park up. We're going to go to bed because it's going dark. And then tomorrow morning, in game time, we will be uh, buying the combine. Really looking forward to this because I don't think, I might be wrong, uh, but I don't think I've ever used a Class Takano combine in farming simulator before. So this is going to be a real treat. I think it's going to be a perfect combine for the map. It's going to fit in very well because it's like a step up from the Dominator, the, uh, the new equivalent. And uh, yeah, it's not too big, not too small, so it's perfect. This is probably best just back in the shed down here or into the pit. I oh know, there is space. Into the shed then. Uh, we should probably lower the, the sides up on there. And there we go. So, see you in the morning. Ah, see so there we are, it is morning. We better pick up the eggs. It's a job which has to be done. Uh, these, egg these chickens just tend to lay their eggs anywhere. In no particular spot. Uh, but yeah, what we'll get. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go and buy the combine. We better go and do that. How could you forget that amount of money? So we don't have a quad bike or anything like on Thornton Farm, so we're just gonna have to head up there, I think, in probably this John Deere. And yeah, this is gonna be, hopefully, a fantastic combine. Uh, the crops have progressed a little bit, but nothing really significant. That field's grown. So it's going to be, I would say, if not tomorrow, it's going to be the next day when we start the massive harvest. When the massive harvest is completed, we will probably sell off all the machinery as well. We'll be selling the farm. And then we'll be changing maps. And it might be to Navesville extent. So that'd be kind of weird because we'll be returning again. Uh, but we might be playing the role of a different farmer to be the new manager who is turning up. Um, but, yes, we need to just take it one step at a time, get the combine first of all, to do the big harvest with. And, yeah, really looking forward to this. It should be amazing. Okay, so, here it goes. I'm assuming it comes with the header as well. It is the Class Decano 340. We're going to buy it, and the header, I assume, is the C490. Yes, that is a 4.9 meter header. The one for the Dominator was 4.5. So as you can see, it is a slight upgrade. It's obviously a lot newer, and I think it's going to fit in very well. As for the header trailer, I don't think there's anything that actually came with it, but we do have a class one anyway, so we'll probably be using that if it does fit okay. There we go, it's just landed from the sky. So let's just have a quick tour of this combine harvester. First impressions, very good. Looks really good. Uh, let's just get inside it. Uh, so the controls here, standard kind of controls, disable straw swath, pipe out, unfold harvester, all the usual stuff. Um, 
and in the cab, pretty good. Lots of detail, like that a lot. Working mirror is always good to see. As for IC, interactive control, I don't think there is any. That's not the end of the world. It's a decent combine. Beacons work. Three beacons, love it. Uh, the indicators, do they work? They do indeed, very good. Lights, yep. So that is really good. Now I think we're gonna get on well, me and this combine. We are gonna be using it for quite a while, so <laughs> we're gonna have to get on really. Ah, oh, that trailer is probably too big. Just a little bit too big. Our nice reversing tone. Anyway, we'll be sorting this out tomorrow because that is most likely when we're going to start using it. We do already have a field to do, so we'll do that first of all. Let's just power it up. Unfold that first of all. Can you see in there? Kind of. Let's see what it sounds like. That is really good. Yeah, this is this couldn't be a better combine harvester for the map. The size, the horsepower and everything is just perfect. So, I'm going to leave it there. We will be returning tomorrow, of course, for more Naves on Farm. Three episodes a week. And, yes, hopefully we will be starting the harvest. It's going to be, first of all, in field number 10, because that's the first field we did. Ah, two more fields are ready. Field number 9 and 8 are ready. And field number 19, 20, 23 and 1 are, I think, on their either second to last growth stage or the last one. So, yeah, this is going to be good. Looking forward to it. Stay tuned. Starting the big harvest tomorrow. And it's going to be immense. Until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.